Hello everybody, really Nifty here, and today we're going to be making broccoli soup. One of the simplest dishes in the world to make because it only requires one ingredient, broccoli. Simple, healthy, and quick to make, this is one soup that everyone should know how to prepare, so let's get started. To start off, you're going to need one head of broccoli. This is enough for one dinner serving or two appetizers. Just take your head and cut the florets off until you're left with just the stem. Then just cut off the very bottom and since the stem is much tougher than the florets, you want to slice it into much smaller pieces. Once you're done with that, it's time to take it over to the stove. Next, in a pot of salted boiling water, add your broccoli and then add a touch more salt to the tops. You want to cook these until you can use the back of your knife to cut through them easily, which should take about 5 to 8 minutes. Now that the broccoli is cooked and ready to go, let's take it over to the blender. Here we just want to add our strained broccoli, and then add the water we cooked it in up to about halfway. If you like your soup a bit more loose, you can add more water, but if you're not sure, start thick and then loosen it up along the way. Now we'll season with some salt, and some black pepper, pop on the top, and blend until the soup is at the consistency that we want. When it's done, just give it a taste, adjust the seasoning as necessary, blend again, and repeat until your soup is just how you like it. Then just add it to a bowl, garnish with some walnuts or cheese, and some olive oil. And you have yourself a delicious soup that'll warm you up until winter's finally over. I made mine super simple this time, but if you wanted a creamier texture, you could add some cream, or if you wanted to make a broccoli cheddar soup, you could always add cheddar or cheese sauce before blending, but that's entirely up to you. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. Ingredient list is in the description box down below. Be sure to leave a comment and let me know what recipes you want to see next. Subscribe for more nifty recipes, like and share this video to spread the love, and as always, have a mighty nifty day today.